Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So, Jonesies, Jonesy, Jonesies. I know I haven't called y'all that in a minute, but this is a review of season one and season two of Lupin. Now, I was calling the show Lupin because, you know, I didn't know it. it I knew it was a French series, but I didn't really know how to pronounce it. So when they were saying it in the show, I was making sure I was listening. I wanted to make sure I said it correctly. So it is called Lupin. Now, this story follows a professional thief named Asan Diop. He is the only son of an immigrant um from Sem from Senegal, okay, who had come to France to seek a better life for his child. Now, Assange's father is framed for the theft of an expensive diamond necklace by his employer, Mr. Pellegrini, who I cannot stand. Oh, my God. You guys just don't realize how I just wanted something bad to happen to him throughout the whole series. But anyway, the wealthy and powerful Hubert Pellegrini and hangs himself in prison, which we find out he didn't really hang himself, but he hangs himself in prison, in a prison cell out of shame, leaving the teenager a son, an orphan. They really never explained what happened to Asan's mother, unless I really didn't hear that or didn't pay attention to it, but they really didn't explain the background of his mom unless she passed away when he was you know a little boy or she could have been left in Senegal and you know couldn't come over but I really don't maybe I missed that so if you guys saw one and two let me know what um if you caught on to something that I missed okay in the comment section 25 years later inspired by a book about a gentleman thief named Arsene Arsene Lupin, his father had given him on his birthday. Now, Asan sets out to get revenge on the Pellegrini family using his charisma and mastery of thievery and disguise to expose Hubert's crime, which this show is dope as F. Okay, this is a really, really good show. I enjoyed it. We binge watched last night season one and we just fe finished season two like a few minutes ago. And I said, I got to talk about this. I got to give this show a review. It's really good. It's already getting ready to go into season three. I don't know when it's going to be out, but they it is getting renewed for season three. Now, here are some of the characters in here. Um, Asan Diop, of course, played by Omar Sai. I was calling him Omar C, but it's Omar. C. I don't know if it's Omar C or Omar Sai. Um, but he is Asan Diop, a modern day gentleman thief who styles himself after Arsene Lupin and vows to avenge his father's death. Okay. Now, Mamadou Hadara, he is a young Asan Diop, and I'm telling you, they matched the characters up when they was going from young to from, from past to present. They really did match those characters up because young Asan, the guy that's playing young Asan, he is built just like current Asan Diop, okay? Um... Claire. Now, Claire is uh, Assange's ex-girlfriend and the mother of his child, of whom she has full custody for. And, of course, they did match her up really good with young Claire. Okay. Now, um, Raul, he's the son of Assange and Claire. Okay. Um... Babacar Diop is Assange's late father who was falsely accused of having the, the stolen, um, the Pellegrini's diamond necklace. Okay. Benjamin. Now that's Assange's close friend from his school days who he also does all his stuff. He is also a current, um, he's a jeweler. Okay. But he is also Assange's right hand man. Okay. They've been, they've been tight since school age. Okay, Hubert Pellegrini, a business tycoon who is the patriarch of the Pellegrini family. Anne Pellegrini is, is Herbert's wife. Juliet Pellegrini is Hubert and Anne's daughter. Okay, also, she used to mess around with young Asan, but the father did not approve of that. 
but I'm not going to give you everything because I want you guys to see the show. I don't want to put too many spoilers in here. Okay. Um, young Juliet, she was a match also for the older Juliet too. So they did good matching her up from young to old. Um, Gabriel Dumont, the commissioner of the Paris Police Department. Hmm. And they did match up really well with young Gabriel as well. Young Gabriel Dumont. They matched him up really well. Okay. Because I was like, okay, they really doing it over here. Now, um... So, Captain um, Ro Captain Roman Lager, he is a police captain um, that was tasked with retrieving the Pellegrini's necklace, okay? Sophia, she's a lieutenant detective. And Yusuf Gadira, he is a detective who uses his knowledge of the Ars Arsene Lupin books to track Arsene's activity. So, they, they really... Well, Mr. Um, Gadira... They was really like, you know, sleeping on him. But in the end, they was like, okay, you were right. And, you know, trying to capture and knowing the style of our, our son, all that kind of stuff. And it got to the point where, to the point where our son was leaving cryptic messages online. And Mr. God, um, Godera, Yusuf, would know what he was talking about because he broke it down. So... It's really good. It was it's a really good show. Um, Claire got on my nerve a few times, and that's like I said, Claire is our son's um ex girlfriend, but also you know they share a child. She got on my nerve. I mean, cause you know how he is. You know he's not gonna do anything without a good reason. But she was gonna try to tell her son, I don't want you to see him anymore. Let me tell you something. Raul got captured, right? Our son was the one that that got him. He rescued his own son. So, so her head, I mean, I understand the way she feels, but come on. It, it was ridiculous how she was like, I don't want you to see your father and all kind of stuff. Girl, bye. But let me just tell you, from beginning to end, it's action-packed. It's mysterious. It's, it's got drama. Um, It's thriller. It's everything. Let me tell you something. I love me some Luther with Aegis Alba. That was also an off-the-chain series. And now we have Lupin, Asan Diop. Let me say, it would have been nice to have Idris in this as well as one of Asan's friends. You know what I'm saying? It would have been so nice to have Idris in here also working with Asan. Um, what I didn't really see, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. What I didn't see, I didn't see a lot of black women in this show at all. One black woman, and that's when they was when they opened up the first episode and she was in charge of the cleaning the, the cleaning crew for the museum and or whatever that huge place was and um that was it that was like the only black girl woman that I saw I didn't really see too many um Asan's you know ex-girlfriend also child's mother she's a, she's white and so is Juliet she's white um I didn't see many. I only saw one. If you saw more, then you let me know. But I only saw one black woman in the show. It doesn't take away the fact it was. This is an excellent series. But I would have loved to see more black women in the show. I would have loved to see it. Um, I didn't even see too many black men in this show. It was just focused on Asan Diop. I'm like, what's going on here? You know, I know there's a lot of interracial relationships and stuff, and there are. I know in France, there are a lot of black, you know, people over there. So I don't understand where were the people of color in this show. But it's really good. I enjoyed it. I'm ready for season three whenever it comes out. Um, but when I tell you, Asan Diop, this whole thing, my husband said this whole, it reminded him of Mission Impossible and james bond which it does have those those two type of feels to it so i do agree with that but i have never seen anyone smooth like asan diop do his thing and disappear and he gets away with everything all the time and in this case he was 
doing this, you know, stealing stuff, being in, in disguise to clear his father's name. And you know what? And he did that. He did that. So, but also when it comes back to Juliet, and that's Mr. Pellegrini's daughter, he used her to get what he needed to get, okay? Because Mr. Pellegrini got his son kidnapped, but guess what? He used his daughter as well. So if you want to kidnap my son, I'm gonna use his daughter. And that's what he and that's what he did. I love Benjamin. That's his friend from school. You know, they the relationship that the friendship they have is genuine, it's cool, it's nice. I love that. Um, I just would love to see a little bit more people of color in this show. But overall, it was excellent. I enjoyed it. So hopefully in season three we get to see that. But um have you guys watched the show? Let me know in the comment section if you did. Um, the only messed up thing that I did not like was the reporter, Fabian. Fabian, um, she didn't have to die. That's the only thing I didn't like. She didn't have to die in the show. I wish they would have kept her around um, and maybe would have brought her career back. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just having her die off the show i really wish that they would have kept her around but okay that's enough little jewels and gems that i didn't drop for you i don't want to give you too much but those of you who that who hasn't seen it you need to see it it's really good you're going to enjoy it it's action-packed it's got all types of stuff and from beginning to end it does not slow down it does not slow down from beginning of season one all the way to the end of season two is nothing but drama on top of drama action on top of action back to back i love it so to my homegirl books for beef thank you for posting this on your instagram because i was like i was curious about it and i saw that she posted because she don't watch no bs so when i saw that she posted it on her page i said hmm, let me go check this out so thank you for posting that and getting us interested in it now like I said before, that's all I got. It was just a short review. It was really good. You guys need to see it. Um, Omar Sai or C, you know, he did really well. Okay, he did really well. He's a very tall man, chocolate, full lips. He's handsome. Um, I know some of the ladies out there, when I was looking at reviews, they was like, you know melting over him and saying all types of stuff i was like okay so y'all like it y'all like it um Asad, huh so but he you know when he wear his suits his suits look really nice on him he is his disguises are off the chain off the chain um but i think in real life he's married to um a white lady as well and they have children so and i think it says that they've been together for over 10 years so you know it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Um, he did really he did really well in this show. He really did. This is a San Diop. <laughs> you know, I don't care what else I see him in, I'm gonna always think of him as a San Diop. Okay. AKA Bupan. That's who I'm gonna always like connect him with. He did really really good just like with Edith Elba everybody connected him with Stringer but after Stringer was over and he did Luther oh I connect with him with, with Luther so I always be like okay because Luther was my favorite I love Luther it was that was a good show it could have went on for at least 10 seasons but they cut it short I think they only gave us five or four I think they only gave us between I think it was five I think they gave us five seasons of Luther but it was good it was really good so, um, yeah, let me know how you like this um, series. If you watched it, if you didn't see it, let me know if you're interested in watching the series. Let me tell you something. When you start, you're not going to be able to stop. It's really good. So, all right, I'm out, guys. Thanks for listening, and I will talk to you guys later.